Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to what shall we do next and today we're going to be doing something which I said I was going to do a long time ago but I never got around to doing it and it's going to be very scary. Today we are going to be reading the 72 demons from the actual lesser key of Solomon book of evil. So I warn you if you're like scared of this kind of thing or you feel like it's going to summon something bad into your life then maybe you should stop watching right now. This is an actual book of evil. It is the Lesser Key of Solomon, the Goetia, the Book of Evil Spirits. By the way, guys, when I read this, there is so many like weird old Latin words that I'm probably not gonna pronounce right, so try to bear with me, um, including some of the demons' names. And this is written by, or I think it was written a long time ago, but it was altered by Aleister Crowley, who was like a devout Satanist. Now, when I bought this book, I was a little scared to even have it in my possession um, because it's basically like the Bible before evil, like the dark side of things. So this is like the opposite of the Bible, I guess. And it has 72 demons in here and like how to summon them and stuff like that. It's crazy stuff. I'm not going to read that. Don't worry. I'm not going to be reading any ancient Latin uh, summoning demon spells or anything like that. But I want to read about the actual 72 demons that King Solomon captured and enslaved. And uh, I want to read about them because it has like a little piece for each of them. I'm going to do like 10 in this video, maybe 10 in another video. There is 72 in total, um, but I want to read through them. They're just different types of demons. That's pretty much all I'm going to be reading. I'm not going to read anything that I shouldn't read. But when I bought this, somebody said, it's like, it's just a book. It's nothing to be scared of having it. However, it's what you do with the book that could be dangerous. Um, and it said, if people are really scared, they can protect themselves by binding it in a white ribbon and like salt and stuff like that, or sealing it with wax. I don't know. There was a whole bunch of weird things that people did. Um, but I'm going to be reading it today. So I'm going to read them in order of how they appear in this book. Enough of the jibber jabber. Let's jump right over to the demons. Number one, Baal. The first principal spirit is a king ruling in the east called Baal. He maketh thee to go invisible. He ruleth over 66 legions of infernal spirits. He appeareth in divers shapes, sometimes like a cat, sometimes like a toad, and sometimes like a man, and sometimes all three forms at once. He speaketh hoarsely. This is his character which is used to be worn as a layman before him, who calleth him forth, or else he will not do thee homage. Number two, Agares. The second spirit is a duke called Agrius or Agares. He is under the power of the east and cometh up in a form of an old fair man, riding upon a crocodile, carrying a ghost shock upon his fist and yet mild in appearance he maketh them run that stand still and bringeth back runaways he teaches all languages or tongues presently he hath power to destroy dignities both spiritual and temporal and causeth earthquakes he was of the order of virtues he hath under his government 31 legions of spirits, and this is his seal, or character, which thou shalt wear as a layman before thee. Number 3. Visago. The third spirit is a mighty prince, being of the same nature as Agaris. He is called Visago. This spirit is of a good nature, and his office is to declare things past and to come and to discover all things hid and lost. And he governeth twenty-six legions of spirits, and this is his seal. Number four, Samajina, or Gamim. The fourth spirit is Samajina, a great Marquet. He appeareth in the form of a little horse or ass, and then into human shape. Doth he change himself at the request of the master? 
He speaketh with a hoarse voice. He ruleth over thirty legions of inferiors. He teaches all liberal sciences, and giveth account of dead souls that died in sin. And his seal is this, which is to be worn before the magician, when he is invocator. Number 5. Marbas. The fifth spirit is Marbas. He is a great president, and appeareth at first in the form of a great lion, but afterwards, at the request of the master, he putteth on human shape. He answereth truly of things hidden or secret. He causeth disease, and cureth them. Again, he giveth great wisdom and knowledge in mechanical arts, and can change men into other shapes. He governeth thirty-six legions of spirits, and his seal is this, which is to be worn as aforesaid. Number 6. Valfor. The sixth spirit is Valfor. He is a mighty duke and appeareth in the shape of a lion with an ass's head bellowing. He is a good familiar, but tempteth them he is a familiar of to steal. He governeth ten legions of spirits. His seal is this, which is to be worn whether thou wilt have him for a familiar or not. Number 7. Amon. The seventh spirit is Amon. He is a marquee of great power and most stern. He appeareth like a wolf with serpent's tail, vomiting out of his mouth flames of fire. But at the command of the magician, he putteth on the shape of a man with dog's teeth beset in a head like a raven, or else like a man with a raven's head simply. He telleth all things past and to come. He procureth feuds and reconcileth controversies between friends. He governeth forty legions of spirits. His seal is this which is to be worn as aforesaid. Number 8. Barbados. The eighth spirit is Barbados. He is a great duke and appeareth when the sun is in Sagittary. With four noble kings and their companies of great troops, he giveth understanding of the singing of birds and the voice of other creatures, such as barking of dogs. He breaketh the hidden treasures open that have been laid by the enchantments of magicians. He is of the order of virtues, of which some parts he retaineth still, and he knoweth all things past and to come and conciliateth friends and those that be in power. He rule over thirty legions of spirits. His seal of obedience is this, the which wear before thee as aforesaid. Number 9. Payman. The ninth spirit in this order is Payman, a great king and a very obedient unto Lucifer. He appeareth in the form of a man sitting upon a dromedary, with a crown most glorious upon his head. There goeth before him also a host of spirits, like men with trumpets and well-sounding cymbals, and all other sorts of musical instruments. He hath a great voice, and roareth at his first coming, and his speech is such that the magician cannot well understand unless he compelled him. This spirit can teach all arts and sciences and other secret things. He can discover unto thee what the earth is, and what holdeth it up in the waters, and what mind is, and where it is, or any other thing thou mayest desire to know. He giveth dignity and confirmeth the same. He bindeth or maketh any man subject unto the magician, if he so desire. He giveth good familiars and such can teach all arts. He is to be observed towards the West. He is of the order of dominations. He hath under him 200 legions of spirits, and part of them are the order of angels, and the other part of potentates. Now if thou callest this spirit payment alone, thou must make him an offering, 
and there will attend with him two kings called Label and Abelim, and also other spirits who be of the order of potentates in his host and twenty-five legions. And those spirits which be subject unto them are not always with them, unless the magician do compel them. His character is which must be worn as a layman before thee. Number 10. Buer. The tenth spirit is Buer, a great president. He appeareth in the Sagittary, and that his shape is when the sun is there. He teaches philosophy, both moral and natural, and the logic art, and also the virtues of all herbs and plants. He healeth all distempers in man, and giveth good familiars. He governeth fifty legions of spirits, and his character of obedience is this, which thou must wear when thou callest him forth unto appearance. Well, that is the end of that, guys. That is the end of this video. I'm just going to do 10 for this video because there are 72. So it's like seven videos worth of demons. But those are the first 10 demons that King Solomon captured and enslaved. And Paman, which is one that was in that, the pretty lengthy one, number nine, that was actually the demon that possessed Reagan in the movie The Exorcist. Not only that, but further on in this book, there is two more demons that belong to the Lesser Key of Solomon, and one of them is the demon Malthus, who possessed the Annabelle doll, and also the demon that we all know as Valak, who possessed, or who manifested as a nun. Anyway, guys, we'll get to them in another video, but that is the end of that for this one. I'll see you in the next video. Try not to have nightmares, and I hope I didn't accidentally summon anything. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and remember to chase your dreams.